In this packet tracer lab, I'm going to explain to you what is native VLAN in the Cisco switch environment, what is the purpose of the native VLAN, where we use native VLAN, why we even sometimes get native VLAN mismatch in Cisco switch console. The native VLAN is the one into which untagged traffic will be put when it is received on a trunk port. In this case, I have a trunk link running between these two switches. If you go to the switch, I have two VLANs. One is for staff, one is for students. Say, for example, I have a bunch of machines here. Some are for staff, some are for students. Same in this side also. I have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And I also have a bunch of machines for staff and students. So when a staff machine send the traffic on VLAN 10, this side of the trunk will tag that frame as VLAN 10 and send it over here. When it reaches this side, it will look at the tag and send that frame to the destination PC that is on VLAN 10. Same thing will happen to VLAN 20. But if a traffic received in this side of the trunk with no tag, it will be sent over through native VLAN. And when it receives this side of the trunk, it will look at the tag and see no tag. So it will send the traffic to a destination PC that is on native VLAN. So that is how native VLAN operate. So let's look at the configuration of the native VLAN. I have two switches here, access one and access two. Let me open the console here and I'm going to issue a command, show int trunk. That will tell you what is your native VLAN right now. And if you issue a command, show VLAN, and you can see what are the VLANs you have on the switch. Right now, VLAN 1, which is the default VLAN. So in this case, native VLAN and default VLAN are same. So let's go to the other side of the switch, access to, issue the same command, show int trunk. We have the same native VLAN. So you can see native VLAN is matching on both end of the switch. Right now in the switch, you have only one port that is functioning as a trunk. I'm going to remove this trunk, default interface, gig zero one. So trunk has been removed in this side. Now you issue the same command, show in trunk, and you see trunk is still there because we did not remove the trunk on the other side. So in this case, other side of the switch negotiated the trunk with this one. So let me go here, Ctrl T, default interface, kick 111. Now we look at show int trunk, and you see no trunk here. And also you have noticed here, when I issue the show in trunk command, you are not seeing the native VLAN anymore. So native VLAN is completely exclusive for trunk links. Therefore, you do not talk about native VLAN without a trunk. So let's go back and reinitiate our trunk. Conf T int gig 111 switch port mode trunk. When you issue this command, if you get an error about trunking protocol, you need to set the trunk through dot one q trunking protocol. In this case, we did not get an error message, so we should have the trunk already here. Show int trunk. We already have trunk configured here. And if you go this side, show int trunk. Gig01 is already a trunk now because the other switch has negotiated the trunk with this port. So now we are going to set the VLAN that's a native VLAN to a different VLAN and see what happens. I'm going to make new VLAN for native VLAN. Conf T VLAN 99 name management. And I'm going to go to the trunk port int gig zero one switch port trunk native 
VLAN and it is asking the VLAN number. I'm going to specify VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. And now you are going to see VLAN mismatch statement on your console. And go to the other side. And you can see here native VLAN mismatch. Native VLAN mismatch discovered on gig 111 with switch gigabit 01. So let's issue a command here show in trunk. The native VLAN on this side of the trunk is 1. Show int trunk native VLAN on this side of the trunk is 99. That is why you are getting native VLAN mismatch on both sides of the trunk. So to get rid of that error message, what you need to do is you have to go in this side of the switch, conf t int gig 111 switch board trunk native VLAN 99 because we already have VLAN 99 in this switch. And I'm going to set that as a native VLAN now and show in trunk. Now native VLAN is 99. People tend to change native VLAN from VLAN 1 to 99 to prevent VLAN hopping attacks. So it is a good practice you select a different VLAN for native VLAN other than VLAN 1. If you have any question related to native VLAN, put that in the comment section. I will make sure to answer your question as soon as possible. If this video is helpful to you understand the native VLAN, don't forget to like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for useful networking content like this.